Say it. In my direction. Come on, claim it today. Get God is leaning. God is leaning. Woo. In my direction. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, he's leaning. Ah. In my direction. This is my season. He's leaning. Hallelujah. In my direction. Come on, say it. This is my season for grace. Hallelujah. For favor. This is my season to be what I am. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise this morning. Come on, worship him this morning. I got a seed in the ground. Plant your seed this morning. Wake up. Get up. Move in your purpose. When? Now. In Jesus' name. Wake up. Get up and move in your purpose. Welcome, family, to our, our, our time of coming together just to motivate one another, to, to claim your own season, to, 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 to sow your own seed, and, and to know that by having a divine relationship with God in your mind, that now and only now can you sow the good seed into good ground. And watch this. When you sow, so shall you reap. Are you sowing in bad ground? Are you investing in bad in bad uh, business decisions? Are you joining with with people that are not, watch this, up for glorifying God as much as you are for glorifying God in your life? See, waking up in my mind, I'm getting up in my mind, thank you, Jesus, for a, 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 a right to the tree of life. Uh, getting up in my thinking, Oh, glory, put your mind in me. Let me study your word. Let me worship you, Lord. Let me, let me, let me intentionally put my mind, let me fix my mind on you. And yes, let me get up in my purpose because my purpose, your purpose, all of our purpose. Yes, blessed lady of God, good morning to you. All of our purpose is to glorify and to magnify God 24-7, all day, every day, constantly, without any distraction. We must stay fixed as a man thinking. Twenty uh, proverb. I mean, Psalms twenty-three, uh, 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 Proverbs twenty-three and seven. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Are we being intentional to what my mind is on? Am I giving away to 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 idle mind things, to to, to uh, idle things, the things that would distract me from being in a peace of mind? A am I am I allowing myself to be involved in things that will take me away that will 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 block the blessings that will now remove me out of the presence of God. I don't know about you, but I am getting comfortable being in his presence by submitting first of all my thoughts, my 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 thinking, the the process of my brain and 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 acknowledging it that the way I think, so shall I be. Well, I'm going to think that I am blessed. I am going to think that I am greater than I ever been because it's he who lives in me. Not the world and not any other any other instances and any other people or any other things, but God that dwells in me. And, and, and I know you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. Well, so am I. Uh, 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 I'm tired of this. I'm tired. So am I. And I'm just like you. But am I going to do better now? Is it going to be you that today is the day that you say, I do better now? We have to, first of all, make a decision. I wake up in my mind. I get up in my thinking. That's all a decision. Then I'm intentional to what I'm waking up to. Am I going to, first of all, start my day the way I know it's going to end? Because if I start in the good, I'm going to end in the good because I'm going to resist everything that is negative. I'm intentional. Yes, I, I'm on purpose. Purpose is on tension. You're intentional. So you can be effective. Aren't you ready to be effective? I shared uh, last week, uh, your doors. Remember, ask, it shall be given. What? To seek, and you'll find. And then find what? That when you knock, all doors, you have to go the process of being in a relationship with God and knowing that God's word is true. And that if I am going to be what God has called me to be, be that I must, first of all, love. I have to communicate. I have to hear God. I have to worship God. I have to stand with God. And I have to most importantly celebrate God like never before. You have to celebrate God like never before. Your now 
is your celebration. <laughs> You're now every second. Yes, you started up by waking up in your mind. Celebration. Yes, you're in the new now by getting up in your thinking, celebrating Jesus, by now moving in your purpose that God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, all one, are glorified in everything that we do. We know that as Christ has done, we shall do also. And watch this. I keep saying this. We're not just praying for the believers. We're not just having these 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 shows and these broadcasts and these these communicate these these vices of communication. Just for the believers. I'm glad my believing brothers and sisters are in agreement to come on board and say high five. Yes, amen. Yes, amen. But let me go do what God has called me to do. And if Jesus woo, prayed for all, we must what? Pray for all too. Hebrews tells us he'll never leave. He'll never forsake us. But are we leaving him? Are we forsaking him is the question. There must be the constant question that we always are, 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 are challenging ourselves with. Is, is God glorified? Is he magnified? Is he lifted up? Is, 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 he, being, is he being honored in everything I do? And it, it has to be what people see. Because people don't believe what they don't see. But watch this. When they can see the manifestation of the Holy Spirit working in you, just like he said, if you believe in him and the works he does also, you will also, you will what? Also pray. You will also be compassionate. You will also uh, 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 go to the father in prayer. You will also let your, your, your needs, your desires be put aside for the desires of others. And that is what our purpose is, my brothers and my sisters, is that we become more compassionate like Christ was, that we become more prayerful like Christ was, like, like, like we become more loving like Christ was. And, and Christ just didn't run around throwing instructions. Christ was a master communicator. He communicated and he let his, his, he let his, his, his thoughts be known. And yes, you had to have a relationship with him for those thoughts to now become revelation or they were just some other parable that, that many of the scribes and many of the Pharisees and many of the Sudacees con consistently didn't make the mark because they were not in the spirit. Hallelujah. But whoa, glory be to God that I am in the spirit because the spirit is in me. Greater is he. Greater is he that is in me Christ is in me because I believe remember for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that if you believe it is everlasting and will not perish the spirit that lives in you uh, read chapter uh, Ephesians chapter 3 and it explains how the power works in you to recreate to to change to rearrange and to transform you into what God has called you to be. And let me tell you something right now. It's up to you. Your call in this thing. Your work in this thing. You must wake up in your mind. You must get in your, get up in your thinking. And you must move in your purpose. Every single minute, second, minute, hour, day, week, year, month, year. And consistently, until God has another level for you, you must consistently Walk in your purpose. Your purpose isn't that you don't have to be on the podium. You don't have to be behind the microphone. But your purpose is to magnify, glorify, and lift up God in everything you do. I know right there where you are right now, you may be saying, how can I magnify, glorify, lifting up God? By the way you respond. By the way you react. By the way you let the circumstances of this world either make life or death. Because when I resist, there's life. But when I get involved, when I when I when I allow it to come inside, I am dead, and there's no if ands and buts about it. But I am free, and I am free indeed. You are free, Hallelujah, and you are free indeed, not by power and might, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. But we must start to think like Him, so we can now see the the spiritual feeling of moving by the Spirit, a constant flow. That now we act out what God has called us to do. 
being holy and acceptable in his eyesight, no matter where, when, and how we are maneuvering in this life, because my life is in purpose right now. In my linear walk, in your linear walk, no, not your vertical. Your vertical is connected with God. When? Constantly. You must stay constantly connected because he abides in you and you abide in him. That's constantly. Don't let it go. Don't think it's over. Don't think it quits. You must stay consistent in the presence of God because God has given you the right to the tree of life. But watch this. Go to this morning. Uh, wake up. Get up. Move in your purpose. Watch this. Go to John. Now we're talking about mindset. We're talking about being what God has called us holy and acceptable. Remember, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Your thinking must change. And how do I change my thinking? I must replace it with some better thinking. Oh, yes, 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 you too. You can do the same thing that the rest of us believers are doing by replacing the bad with the good. And how do you do that? You take away the old knowledge and you say that knowledge is no good. Oh, no, I know it half worked. I know it sometime worked. I know it was almost there. But watch this. I'm talking about, about the things that are effective, that are fervent, and that avail much. Not just prayer, but prayer is a lifestyle that must be effective and fervent and availing much in all my life. It can't just be a one-time shot. It must be consistent. And when it's consistent, now, when, 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 every zero, five seconds, you have an opportunity to stay in the presence of God in your mind. And you keep your thoughts fixed on him consistent, vertically. But I got to move, I got to move linear because I move from left to right. And you, those on the back, on the screen, I'm talking from left to right. One, two, three, four, five. That is my walk. That is your walk. But my purpose is to magnify God in every step, every move, every situation in my life. John chapter 17, verse 20. So we're going to share this morning uh, uh, in Wake Up in get up and move in your purpose oh yes we're excited we've been been on in the streets in the in the in the in the, in the ghetto which we, we do always but the man of god uh uh two crumb for jesus has been out here and we have hit the streets and god has moved and he's opening up doors because when you what watch this ask it shall be given what given what how to seek to find how to find find where i need to knock because when i knock all doors will be open to me. My doors are opening because I'm first asking God. I'm seeking him and I'm finding that in all of this, the purpose is him. And he opens up the doors because he has you knock and all doors that are purpose for you will open when? Now, John chapter 17, verse 20. I do not pray for these alone, but offer those who will believe in me through their word. Now watch this. Watch how Christ is saying that not just for one, not just for two, but he's praying for all that believe. And watch this. Believe in me through their word. You got to tell somebody how good Jesus Christ is. Oh no, everybody's claiming, oh no, we're saying God, saying God. We only have a difference between Muhammad. We only have a difference between this and that. There is no difference. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God are one. Get it out the way. Swish it. Come on. Swish. No options. That's no option to a believer. They are one. And the number one thing you do for God's prayers to work for you, because he says, watch this, I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe. Now, he didn't say those who do believe. He says that will believe. So don't you know that when you get into the will, meaning that I am doing better in believing, that now, watch this, that believe in me through their word. Because when you believe, you don't have to see it anymore. You can speak those things that are not, whoo, hallelujah, as it already is. And you now, remember we just said earlier, are you going to call out your season? Are you going to speak out your deliverance? Are you going to let it be known the salvation of Jesus Christ on the bus, 
in the car, at the store, in the apartment, at your house, wherever, however you have to, are you going to let the words of your mouth and the meditation of your heart woo, be acceptable in the sight of God? Watch this, 21, that they, watch this, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us. See, this isn't about groups. This isn't about religions. This isn't about denominations. This is about one God. This is about us coming together on one accord and we got to believe the same thing. Oh yes, we can. you can do whatever you want to call it what you want to, but let me tell you this. We must be in the oneness of belief. When he says like-minded, that's in belief. One accord, that's in belief. Same mind, belief. Uh, uh, same mind that was in Christ, what? Belief. The belief factor in my mind is the thing that separates me from the known factor. See, the known factor, I share this all the time, the known factor is already done. You will not see the known factor redone, remade. The known factor is the known factor. Yes, it'll grow through technology. Yes, it'll go to another level because people are studying themselves to be approved in something. You're going to study yourself to be approved in something. But why not study yourself to be approved in the things of God? Watch this. That now his word is magnified. That his, his life is magnified. And this on top of that, his word is magnified, but your word is magnified because it's not about you. It's about him. Watch, because he says, he says, be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you. Verse 21, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. Woo, stop right there. Hold the presses. Oh, you thought it was just for the Baptists. You thought it was just for the Christians. You know that the whole world may believe in oneness, one belief. One word, one resurrection, one death, burial, and resurrection, as a matter of fact, that he was sent by God to be a appropriation for our sins, that it was no longer done. It was finished, complete, and done. There's no more battle, there's no more war. Yes, we are in a we are in a spiritual battle, but there's no war to be won. It's already be won. But we must stand, withstand, and stand some more in oneness. It's so important, family, for us to become one. Oh, yes, we, we join up in one. And all of a sudden, we want to now be number one. Instead of staying where God has put us in our lane. Stay in your lane. Guess what? Read Romans chapter 12. Not only verse 12 about being conformed to this world, being transformed by your renewing of your mind. Read 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Read the whole chapter where it says that we've all been given a measure of faith. But we've also been given a position to work in this oneness of belief. Belief is the fact, belief is the ingredient that makes us one. You call your church what you want to call it. Call your ministry this, put whatever whatever you want to put. But let me tell you, for us to be in what God is saying, we must be one in belief. And how do we believe? We believe his word. And when we believe his word, now the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart. What's the meditation of my heart? My thinking is acceptable in his sight on the inside. Oh no, I didn't say that on the outside, but I thought it on the inside. We're still not acceptable in God's sight. But when my thoughts, watch this. When, when in that reaction time, in that time when God can be, watch this, be found holy and acceptable in his sight. Watch this. Did you hear what I said? Not us, but that God can be found holy and acceptable in his sight because he sees himself. Hallelujah. You get it right? And he's never looking to see me. He is never getting to try to see you. He is trying to see himself in you. Yes. And he's trying to see himself in you. And so he can see himself in us. Remember, he's coming back for one church. One church without spot or blemish. That's the same belief. That the, that the world 
not just you, not just your church, not just your ministry, but that the world may believe that you sent me. Verse 22, and the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one. Family, it is time, watch this, for me to do better. Do better at what, Pastor E? Do better at being one with God. Oh no, I want to be one with other people that got something that can help me. I want to be one with other people that can get me to, to the place where I need to be. No, I want to be one with God because the only thing that can get me where I need to be is God and God by himself. And family, for you, just like it is for me, that, that equation of one must become prevalent in your walk. It can't be you, your son, your this, your that. It must be you and God one on one. Yes, you have a family. Yes, you have a marriage. And the only way those things will do better now is by you becoming one with God. Now, I know, I, oh, I'm sorry, don't throw no stones because I know there's a couple out you out there that's raising your hand and say, I'm perfected the oneness of God. Okay, send us some notes and help us get there. But for those of us that are still working and pressing every day to be one with him, because it's a struggle. And it's, a, it's something we must resist anything that is not pleasing to the one. And the one must now be me one with him. So now I can become one with you because you're one with who? Him, not one with me, one with him. Watch this. I in them. I in them and you in me that they may be perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them and you have loved me. Father, this verse 24, Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me wherever I am, that they may be behold my glory, which you have given me. For you loved me before the foundation of the... Wait a minute. Is he telling me that he's already perfected the love that he's given me before the foundation of... I'm looking for love in all the wrong places? You mean I've been looking for love in all the wrong places? Yes. If, if, if he... Watch this. If he perfected this love before the foundation of the world, where is the, the, where is, watch this, where is before the foundation of the world? In heaven. How do I get to heaven? By prayer. How do I get to know what God's purpose is for what God has in my, oh Jesus, right now is by our Father who are in heaven. You mean to tell me that Colossians chapter 3 is really on point saying that if you have been resurrected with Christ, you should seek those things which are above and when i keep my mind fixed on the above how can i ever have anything to do with the below because the below ain't got nothing to do with me the below is already finished completed and over but the now is in heaven father i desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where i am he didn't say coming going he said be with me where i am remember Verse four, chapter 14 of John says that I go to prepare a place. If he goes to prepare it, that means the place is ready. But are you prepared for the place? Have you, well, watch this, have you developed that factor of belief? No, no questions, come on now, uh-uh, no more doubt, no more voices, no more, no more, no more opposition. I'm going to stand on the promises of God and I'm going to know that I know that I know that I know that I know that I'm on the belief. That he sent his son to die for the world. That he sent his son that the world will be saved. That's every man, every color, every religion, every person, everything. And I know whatever is, that's not my concern. I want to be more like him in my mind. So my reaction time comes from my thinking, not from my circumstances. Not from my already done's, not from my finished and completes, but my now where God is moving in my life. Watch this. For you love me before the foundation of the world. 25. Oh, righteous father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And these have known that you sent me. And I have declared to them your name and will declare it that the love with which you love me may be in them and I in them. What, what, you know what? As I just said a minute ago, we're looking for love in all the wrong places. 
We're looking for love in, in old relationships. We're looking for love in new relationships. We're looking for love in church. We're looking for love. We're looking for love in all the wrong places. The place that love dwells is where pl the place where God is. And that's where we must focus. That is where we must commit. That is where we must declare, decree, and, and watch this. And let it be known that without any doubt, I'm looking for Jesus where he is. Not for where they said, not for what they did. I'm looking for where he is because watch this, watch this. In chapter 3 of Colossians today, as we get ready to close out. Wake up, get up, and move in your purpose. Watch this. Chapter 3, verse 1. What position? Now. Watch this. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. Where Christ is seating at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on the things of this earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ. Hallelujah. In God. Don't Come on, let it go today. Today is your let go day. Today is to stop worrying about the stuff of this world. Because when we focus on the things of this world, that's all your mind is going to be on. Depression, anger, hate. Because that's all the world is built up. But watch this. The, the, the Christ that is in you, as we said earlier, not on you. The Christ that is in you now is the power that worketh in you to work through you. How do you do that? You got to change the way you think. How do you do that? You got to replace the bad with something good. Oh, it's not hard. Because whatever brings anything today, just take an inventory today. It may be some medicine that irritates you. You might have to pray over that thing and ask God, is this in my best interest? It may be a bill. It may be a, a relationship. It can be church. It can be anything. You must take a self-evaluation. Glory be to God. And understand, is love operating? Is God being glorified? And am I seeking those things which are above? Am I allowing God's word? Oh no, that's how you keep connected to the word of God. That's how you change your old thinking by replacing it with good thinking. How do I do that? I read the word of God and the word of God is good. And his mercies, it endure what? Forever and ever. And his mercies say he will remember no more the things of the past. But he's a now God talking about now stuff, not tomorrow. It'll take care of itself. Yesterday's done. But now it's sufficient for itself right now. Chapter 6 of, of Matthew. Read that chapter. But are you ready to believe? I'm not just going to church. Not just come on and look at the broadcast. Are you really ready to believe that Christ died for the world? Oh, yes, he did it for me. But you have to go to another level and understand for us to really be effective, it's the world. We got to reach the world. Go ye therefore to all the lands and make disciples. When? Now. We must be compassionate by letting our thoughts be compassionate. No, don't be no fool. Don't just go for anything. Don't fall off the turnip truck. But no, walk in love because watch this. You're going to ask questions. Remember we said this two weeks ago. You're going to ask questions. When you get a, when you ask the question, you get an answer. And, and it may not be the answer you want to hear, and it's probably not the right answer. But you'll be able to now evaluate because your thinking is on the thoughts of God. It says that doesn't match up. Uh-uh. I put this on the board. I put this on the board. That just doesn't match up. I can't go for that. That's not for me anymore because I walk by faith and not by sight. I trust God in my everything. Not me anymore. Less of me and more of God is my prayer. And that's my prayer for you today. That as you come into your self-awareness, your oneness with God and believing, you have to believe in him. You, you have to erase doubt. You have to pray in faith. You have to speak it out. You have to, you have to add belief over and over. And the most important thing in this thing, and I must always end at this part, is you must forgive. Anyone who's had that you've had anything against, 
You have to remove the unforgiveness. You have to get the forgiveness involved so God can truly forgive you and you can really get the favor of God. There may be a bottleneck in your in your in your life right now. You're you're on hold for something to happen right now. And do you know you're getting little trickles of it because God is still going to bless you because you study, but there's still a bottleneck holding the throughput of God's anointing, favor, and grace on your life where there's no more worry, no more doubt, no more pain, no more waiting for something to happen because you've already spoken into existence. Not waiting for the phone call to ring because you already just want to re uh, just be the one to redeem that will say so. When? Over and over and over and over and over and over. It's done. No more doubt. It's finished. No more uh, uh, distractions. It's, it's finished, complete, and it's over in Jesus because wahoo, because he did it. Oh, yeah, you still trying to work that system. Get out the way and let God move in your favor. Let God be graceful to you. Let God be merciful to you, but you got to get out the way. How you get out the way? You got to believe. You got to believe in God that he will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you can think or ask. See, before it come out your mouth, it's in your thoughts. Your thoughts have to be pure. Your thoughts have to be about the word of God, family. And I'm telling you, as you make this transformation, as you elevate and go to this next level of the Holy Spirit, just opening it up the windows of heaven and pouring out blessings into your spirit, you know. That by believing in God, God now believes in you. And when God believes in you, there's nothing else. You don't have to worry about any more confirmations. You don't have to worry about any more letters of recommendation. You don't have to worry about no more phone calls of, of, of reference. All you have to do is move in your purpose to wake up in your mind, get up in your thinking, and move in your purpose. Glorifying God. So, Heavenly Father God, we glorify you today. We glorify you through your word. John chapter 17. Read that whole chapter. But, but 20 through 27. Lord, we glorify you through your word that we are transformed, renewed by our minds, Heavenly Father God. We thank you that, 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 that your spirit is abound in this place from the east, the west, the north, and the south. And Heavenly Father God, you are moving for our, for our favor right now. You are moving in a graceful move for us because we believe in you, Heavenly Father God. We believe that it's already done, finished, and complete. And Lord, now we receive it, that we pray in faith, that we speak it, we add belief, we take out all doubt, and we now ask, Lord, that we, we just want to forgive anyone that I may have had any kind of uh, 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 issue with, any kind of controversy with, any kind of instance with, Lord, I forgive you. And you may not even know it, but in the spirit, I forgive you for that, 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 that jumping in front of me in the car. I forgive you for, for taking my spot in the lot. I forgive you for whatever irritation came over my life. I forgive that person in the spirit right now that I may be forgiven. And anyone under the sound of my voice that if I've done anything to ever, ever cause any pain, suffering to you, please forgive me. And, and, and I, this is so sincere from my heart and, and I forgive you if there's anything you think you've done to me that might have you're forgiven because I want God to forgive me so now any prayer any request that I put to him he says it shall be done so Heavenly Father God we thank you Lord that we are not the same Lord we thank you that we are changed rearranged and transformed by the renewing of our minds, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and by the blood that was shed on Calvary by your son Jesus, because we believe. Not by power, not by might, but by agreement, the oneness of belief. And in Jesus' name, we pray. Now, family, I'm going to tell you something. We have just elevated together. I'm no better than you. You're no better than me. We are on the same level of belief. And that's all God is looking for for us is to believe on one accord and accept the roles that God has put in us. How do you know your role? What you have a passion for. Stop taking on things that you don't really have a passion for because you'll quit. You'll give up. Find the things that you have a passion for. And all you have to do is ask. And then when you ask, you seek. And when you seek, you find. You find the things that God has already placed in you by passion. Passion now will push you. Passion will drive you. Passion will give you the extra energy to go to the next man. Somebody said, I need some of your energy, man of God. It's in your passion. Your energy is in your passion. And if you find your passion in God, and no matter what it is, it, might, it doesn't have to be preaching. It doesn't have to be singing. It doesn't, find your passion in God. And watch, you won't give up. You won't quit. You will go until the wheels fall off. And you will continue to move. 
Not by power and not by might, but by God's divine spirit, you will do what God has for you. And that's for you, just like it is for me. But find your passion. That's my, that's my, my, my ending motivation for you today. Yeah, I know you want to work in the ministry. You want to do this. Find your passion first. But your passion must be began by that oneness with God. You and God, one-on-one. -on -one. Stop worrying about the religion. Stop worrying about the people. Stop worrying about the church. Because you're the church. The church must be built in God first on one before you can ever go to the sanctuary and have church. One, that's real. That's real talk. Here on Wake Up, Get Up, and Move in Your Purpose. Family, we love you completely. We, we, we love you absolutely. We, we adore you in Jesus' name. God bless you, family. You can join us today. For it's revival time on Real Talk with Pastor E. We are continuing the revival on Real Talk with Pastor E. 52 Weeks of Love with Evangelist Virginia Valentine and What's the Word with Minister Terry Herbert on Real Talk with Pastor E. By via Blog Talk Radio. You can reach us today, 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. By calling 646-595-4424, 646-595-4424, Minister Michelle Taylor is bringing the word today. We're going to have a worship song. We're going to have a scripture. We're going to have an opening uh, a song, and the woman of God is going to come and give the word, and we're going to get up out of there and we'll let you enjoy the rest of your Friday. God bless you, family. We love you completely. We love you absolutely, and woo, we adore you in Jesus. God bless you, family, in Jesus' name.